Okay, so a very warm welcome to our first ever Traders Guest Room. Uh, we're going to have our first mystery guest on in just a couple of minutes. But let me tell you first of all, that did you know, statistically speaking, women are better traders than men? It's primarily because they have a less of an ego. So, um, sorry guys, but those are just the facts. So, uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to be having our first special lady guest. She's very well known in the Feng Shui world. She's run two businesses and she's just in the process of writing a book as well. She's also using trading to grow funds in her business uh, as well. Have you guessed who it is yet? Well, it's none other than Master Sarah McAllister. Okay, so here I am with the gorgeous Sarah McAllister. Hi Sarah, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, Rishi. Great, great, so down to business. Now, if you were to be stranded on a desert island and you could only pick Rishi or Tiru to take with you, who would it be? Oh, don't make me choose between you. Oh, <laughs> very diplomatic answer, viewers, but uh, what you didn't realise is that Sarah did say something different. We had to cut it out because we didn't want Tiru to cry. <laughs> right, so uh, moving on, uh, tell us a little bit about the trading journey that you've gone through so far and, and the difficulties that you faced as a woman, if any. Um, I started learning to trade in 2007 and um, I found the information, uh, there was just too much information initially, so I, I, I uh, didn't really progress with it. And then I went on to more practical teachings, including the courses with, um, with your, your Vedanta training. Um, and um, I found, there's, there's no barrier um, being a woman trying to trade at all, um, but there are, there are a lot more guys in the industry, obviously. Um, and sometimes there's banter that I think the women feel a little bit left out of and things like that. So it's really nice that you're um, uh, putting together sort of ladies' day trainings. Great. And um, being a, a Feng Shui designer and sort of from my understanding of working with energy, how do you see sort of trading and Feng Shui related? Um, well, Feng Shui is about energy, okay, um, and energy and health and well-being and um, the, the wealth aspect that people associate with feng shui is um, really the wealth of luck, abundance and blessings in your life, okay? And yes, finances do come into it. Um, but the way I see them as linked is that um, you have a responsibility to make the most of your resources, it, and that includes your personal energy, which also includes your finances. So how you control your energy has a direct relation to how you control finances. So sure. trading is a way of mastering the markets, isn't it? Mastering the energy. Mm -hmm. Definitely about mastering the markets. And um, tell us um, actually a little bit more about the Feng Shui business and how you intend to use trading as an income. Well, I look at the, the high street banks and I just think that they've got to be joking. The, the amount of interest that is in a business savings account is mm -hmm. appalling. Um, it's almost insulting, really. <laughs> um, so, I think that trading can give you a way of um, taking the capital that's in your business and getting a decent return. So, you know, you could e you could even aim for like three to five percent initially, which is quite low but quite modest. But it's a lot better than what you're getting on the high street. Sure. And then you could have a realistic aim of like ten to fifteen percent or something like that. Again, it's not extraordinarily high, but mm -hmm. it is achievable. Sure. And I think a lot of people have this misinterpretation that trading takes a long, a lot, a long time, or it's very, very uh, monotonous, or it's very. Um, sort of time consuming and it's like gambling. I mean, what would you say to the, something like that? Well, it's certainly not gambling um, and because of the risk management that you can put into your trades. Um, and I think technology has moved on to a point where you can really make use of the automation. Okay, so Sarah, what would you say to people who maybe don't find time to trade or kind of make excuses because they think it will take too long? Um, I'd say they need to come on the course and find out about all the possibilities to automate the trades. Um, you can still have, have your day job or your self-employed job and be running trades throughout the day um, that are regulated by software. Brilliant, okay. And um, we've heard that you're teaching at our next uh, All Ladies event, Traders Base Camp. Uh, what have you got to say? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be teaching the um, first module on the... Um, the fundamentals of Forex and 
uh, why it's such a good market to um, be at. Great, in. awesome, we're really looking forward to it. What's one last thing you've got to say for the ladies? Just forget the stereotypes that uh, people think of when they think about trading. Um, keep an open mind, come on the course, you'll really enjoy it. And um, I think it's fantastic um, if women take more responsibility for their financial success. Because a man is not a financial plan. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's awesome. Well, um, you've heard it from uh, the lady herself, Master Sarah McAllister, Feng Shui Agency. Till next time, it's Rishi Patel from Master the Markets in the Traders Guest Room. Bye for now.